actually my first day on the job, a flu clinic. Hey, what's up? Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another video. I'm so glad you're here. My name is Jasmine, for those of you who don't know me. It's another day in my life, but this time it's gonna be not at the hospital, but a flu clinic. So it's actually my first day on the job. I did a crazy thing and I got off at 2.30 this morning and now I'm here at 9.30. So this will be quite exciting. I really need to moisturize because last night I felt so dried out from washing my hands. Welcome back to my channel guys. Welcome to another video. Um, I know you guys love these days in the lives, so I am going to try and fill one for you. I was running a little bit late because I slept in probably more than I should have, but I was just so exhausted from yesterday's shift, but I am... So today is my first day on the job as a flu clinic nurse and I'm excited to have a much less stressful environment. Um, and you guys know I'm very transparent on this channel and obviously with a less stressful job it's not as high paying but of course I think but I think it's a lot more worth it because if I, like say for example, I do take overtime, like I'm taking, I have four shifts this week and then I have this, I don't know why I did this to myself, but I have a pretty busy September because I picked up an ICU shift and then I have my three regular ER shifts and then I have this. It's a pretty busy week to be honest with you, but I think sometimes I just need to take a step back from the ER because the ER is such a stressful place and it's, you can never let your guard down, which is hard because we're there for 12 hours and it's pretty crazy sometimes. But I do have to go in pretty soon. Um, let me just check in with the lady. But yeah, so as you saw, I do have to drive places. It's um, essentially we're driving to different companies and we help with their flu vaccines and that is my job for today. I'm pretty excited and I will check in with you later. I don't know. How, I really have no idea how this is going to work. Um, I was literally just on the phone with the lady yesterday and she scheduled me today. So I will let you know how this goes later. Um, and it's from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I believe. So it's not crazy long. But I am wearing my Fit Scrub. Use my code JAZZ15 if you haven't already. Because these are my favorite scrubs and I never get to wear them because of COVID. Wow, look at that background. We're like right next to the fires. But we've run into a little issue. And the company didn't bring the syringes. Which is obviously very important when you're distributing flu vaccines. But... Right now I'm just waiting for the person who's supposed to be bringing the syringes because you're running like 40 minutes behind, but I do not see them. I'm hoping that one of these cars is it, but I don't really know. I will update you all later. What's up everyone? It's way later now. It's 2 p.m. Um, so a little bit of chaotic start as you may have seen. It looks like we didn't have any syringes in the very beginning, which was not the best idea when you're trying to run a flu clinic. Um, but they did give me this face shield and a thing. And 
I didn't use it, but I took it because of the fact that we don't have these at my work, which is like the most awful thing because we work with COVID patients, COVID positive patients all the time. So I'm glad that I got that. I kind of felt bad because they made the other girls stay till three. Since this is my first day, they were like, oh, you have a long drive back. So they let me off, which is nice. Um, but they did give us these goodies. Um, which is so freaking nice of them. I have all this chaotic energy because I haven't eaten since 2 p.m. I'm so hungry right now and I'm glad I didn't have to stay till 3. And I think I'll do the haul when I get home because I just want to get home first because it is 2 p.m. and I don't want to hit traffic. Essentially what this company is is we go to these different corporate companies and we distribute flu vaccines to them. Um, it's very, very simple. Oh my god. I'm just gonna talk to you later because since I'm stuck in traffic, I was like, I might as well update you guys. So basically what happened was, um, as you saw this morning, I went in around 9.45. Usually we come in 30 minutes early to help set up, but I told them I like got off my night shift at 2.30 and I wouldn't have sufficient amount of sleep. So I told them the latest or the earliest I could do was 9.45. We went until two something. She basically called me and told me that because we were like 40 minutes late because of the syringes, we had to stay till three. So you live kind of far. I traveled like 30 miles-ish to get here. It wasn't like an insane drive or anything. It's just like if I leave any later, I'll likely hit a lot more traffic than if I had left it too. So I left before the other girl left and I think the other girl was a little bit upset that, cause I was on speakerphone with the lady who manages it and she was like, oh, um, that girl can stay there but you can go cause they don't have a longer drive and I think she's a little bit salty about it. And then she texted her to make sure that um, they had all the um, papers and everyone was vaccinated. So it's very straightforward essentially we set up we have a paper that we fill out um, and most companies do take the bill so they give these people um, free flu vaccinations at whatever company that they're at and they fill out the form we check if they have any allergies if they have um, any reactions to the flu vaccine in the past and obviously everyone there said no because otherwise they wouldn't be there but we always have to double check um, and then there's a high dosage flu vaccine for those 65 and above and then there's the regular which like you or me might also get so most people did get the regular dose um, pretty quick you draw it into a point than the ones I'm used to using in the hospital. They seem a little bit clumsier. Uh, but super quick, you're only with them for about like a minute or two. But the people there were so nice. And it was nice to have like healthy, happy clientele for once, which is much different than the ER, definitely than the area that I'm used to because that seemed like a much more prevalent um, like, um, how do you say it? Affluent area. They were much more affluent as opposed to the area that I'm used to working in, which is a little bit more like the underserved. You pay me 50 cents per mile that I do travel. That's um, less than or greater than 25 miles. Job. Um, I like it because it's not the same pace as the ER. But I can tell I was getting like really antsy because I'm used to just doing stuff all the time in the ER. And for me, not to be doing stuff, it feels super so they got they gave out these grocery bags with like all these goodies that are supposed to be coming out in the fall time and in the winter time so I just started like gathering those and like separating them into piles of control freak and I just felt compelled to do stuff so I don't know I'm, I'm not used to sitting around it's just like not my not what I'm used to luckily I'm not go hitting too much traffic which I'm glad about I thought it would be a lot worse than this, but it looks like they caught more traffic on the other side, which I'm happy about because I 
didn't get to go home on time and I thought that I was gonna get home super late. My coworkers are actually going to a brewery. I think so we're getting there at 2.30. I'm like so tired. I'm just gonna chill at home for a bit. I literally, the only thing I ate today was a date bar. And then I have a little bit of my tea this morning. This stuff like, if you drink it on an empty stomach, it's so caffeinated. Normally I don't get jittery off of tea, but yeah. I will show you what they gave us in a few minutes because I'm super excited for it because it's actually stuff that hasn't even come out yet, which is like the coolest thing ever. I have to like, look at this. Isn't this like the cutest thing ever? All this holiday stuff, some pumpkin stuff, etc., etc. So I'm super hyped to try those out. Can you get out of the frame? Stop yelling. And then they gave us a little like this some apron. Give it to her. She likes to cut. Pumpkin spice pretzels. They gave us a bunch of stuff that's unreleased. They gave us like that's random stuff. Like I don't know what this is. Oh my god! Garland. Lola will like that. These things that I talked about earlier. What I'm most excited about is this. Because you can see that they don't even have like a tag or whatever. So these are like charcoal and tea tree soaps. Oh, these look good. I'm gonna save these for my work. Bitch, give me, hey! Oh, These pretzel slims. Oh, I'm gonna eat this now. These taste like Halloween. Dude, these are good. It was these cashews, brown butter. Oh my god, this is so cute. Fruit snacks. Spicy snack bar mix. These are my favorite things ever. Dude, they have freaking essential oils. I'm hyped for this. Hot sauce. Some more, cho more chocolate. Chewing gum. Oh my god, I needed to go to the store for that. Pumpkin curry sauce. I don't think I would be using that. 10 out of 10 recommend these. Alright y'all, so I just finished with lunch. Um, I used a lot of the stuff they gave me and I'm still eating these pumpkin spice pretzels and they're super good. But... Yeah, that's pretty much it. Very simple job. You just do flu vaccines all day. I did it for four hours. Pretty chill. But this is my first gig, so we'll find but we'll find out more about it as we go. The lighting here is awful because of the fires. But that is it for this video. Um, pretty straightforward what I do. And essentially, it's going to be... Um, just essentially whatever they need us, I guess. And since flu season's coming up, definitely don't forget to get your flu shots because it's going to be a big one this year. Um, if you don't already follow my social media, I'm going to link it down below. My name is, my name on Instagram is at Jessiners, and I think it's also the same for my TikTok and my, um, Twitter that I never use. But mostly follow me on Instagram, and then I also use my Snapchat a lot. It's jasmine underscore manatee. And I will see you guys in the next vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you so much for watching. Mm -hmm.